Gonna show you a crank run out today, and today is Hawaiian day at Tom Donnie Motors for that transmission. Actually, just a nice, quiet Sunday where I can shoot a video. Um, I've rebuilt this crank, and what you're trying to do when you get them rebuilt is you want that gauge to be just nuts on quiet when you dial indicate it. I usually will let it try to get it within about one and a half. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Most of the time you can. You want that baby just to be as perfectly still. You don't want that needle bouncing around as you do it. What you'll find happens is as it does bounce, it means that one of these bearings, everything's out, kind of out of kilter a little bit. And they'll actually get so loose that at one spot, the bearing will actually rotate. And that's a good indication too. If you set a crank in and tap it down gently and try to or just roll the crank over, if one of the main bearings is actually looks like it's hopping or tweaking a little bit, that tells you your crank's out of whack. And it's gonna take a little bit of an adjustment. And uh, w once you're all done, it should spin nice and free in there. And obviously the bearings will be snug. And if the bearings aren't snug, sometimes I can do a little couple tricks for that too. But anyway, just kinda wanted to give you an idea of what a nice run out crank looks like today. This is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Have a safe and happy sobbing day.